we started collaborating on mega project. I think we started in 2013 when I came to IIT Madras uh, for the PMI research conference. I met uh, at that time I met Satya and uh, Ashwin. And then Ashwin came down to Sydney. We had a workshop, public workshop in 2016. And in 2017, Ashwin invited me to be a keynote at a public workshop in New Delhi. So I think even recently, um, we have had Professor Stuart Clegg, uh, who is a keynote speaker at Ashwin Mega Project Conference. And one of our recent uh, thing is the this book on mega project leaders. I, I hope you can see me. <laughs> uh, so uh, this book has been when when this interview was conducted with the Nagpur uh, CEO. I was there in IIT Madras actually. Yeah. So it's been going on for nine years now. IIT Madras has very good uh, research facilities. I've actually met a lot of professors in IIT, and I've been around to visit some of the labs and you have some wonderful facilities there. I was a keynote speaker there, right, which I spoke about the research methods, I think, and also a paper on information asymmetry along with Professor Perry Forsyth. And then that became a paper which was published in the International Journal of uh, Project Management, or uh, sorry, the Project Management Journal. Um, so uh, I've been to most of the PMI conferences, starting from PMI conference in Pune, uh, then Madras, then Kodikod, Delhi, and Mumbai. So yeah, I'm a board a board member of the PMI Global Accreditation Center. When Santosh and Johan were PhD students in Sydney, I, I teach system thinking to managers in my project management course. They attended my workshop and when I when I went on a sabbatical to IIT Madras, they said, why don't you conduct a workshop here for our students on system thinking? So we used the Coimbatore Metro as a project in which we examine stakeholder relationships, which is uh, system thinking is very useful when uh, conflicting stakeholders have different views about projects. So we had a very we had several doctoral students attend that workshop. And I also had somebody from uh, TCS uh, who who had a who was working in a lab near IIT Madras come and talk uh, do the workshop along with me on TRIS, which is a uh, innovation method. Yeah. The the international office in IIT Madras and our corresponding international office here, led by Ines Ireland, they facilitated the admission of the PhD students. And also uh, the visits when Ashwin came as a KTP visiting scholar, which is a key technology partnership between uh, I, UTS and IIT Madras. So that was sponsored by them. And when I went to IIT Madras during my sabbatical, they also helped me to organize my visit, stay at Taramani guest house, and also uh, meet some of the professors there. Very good because uh, we don't have a big campus in UTS. We are a city based university. We are located at multiple buildings. So it's always enjoyable to um, be at the campus where there's a lots of acreage and there's a lot of buildings. I've taken the bus uh, around the campus and I've even gone on a scooter with Dr. Palaniapan. He took me around a tour around the Haiti Madras facilities, which was very enjoyable as well. I am hail from India. In fact, I grew up in Chennai, not far away from where IIT is located. In those days, I, I lived in Mandavali, which is almost the end of the town when I lived there. But now it's become almost the center of Madras. Yes, India has changed so much because um, India has become an economic powerhouse. Uh, it's, it's taken a lead in manufacturing. Um, it has also um, got this wonderful software center. Madras is now growing as a software center. I recently saw the big technology areas in uh, in Madras. Of course, uh, one of the things that I, I, I always remember is that uh, is that uh, cricket because we are as Indians, cricket is in our blood. I, I used to play cricket in in Madras when I when I was living there. Um, and in those days, I watched uh, test matches in Corporation Stadium where 
Australia and West Indies used to beat us thoroughly. We didn't have any fast bowlers and we couldn't face them as well. But now India has the best, one of the best fast bowlers. I'm waiting to see the uh, test match tonight, uh, the World, World Series test match. And I've actually faced, uh, and India always had good spinners because Venkat, I, I have faced Venkat, Venkat Raghavan uh, when I used to play in my, for my college. And now, of course, you have Ashwin, who is also an international spinner. So I think that transition from what it was is also a big transition, I think. Yeah, IIT is already, IITs in India have a very high reputation. So an IIT Madras, I understand, is number one around in the, in the engineering. Um, we have done a lot with IIT Madras, not only our faculty, but also the uh, engineering school. But I think we can do much more. We can do student exchange. We can do much more research in mega projects, uh, infrastructure project, public-private partnership, building information modeling, data science. All these areas are ripe for research. Um, we also need to expand our bandwidth of relationships. We should have much many more faculty from our university visiting you and your faculty visiting us. And now that the pandemic is there, it's difficult for students to come here. But we, are, we had some wonderful experience with both the students, Johan and uh, Santosh, who have been great ambassadors for uh, doctoral students at IIT Madras. And we're hoping to have more of them here. And uh, I think IIT will become more internationalized because um, in Australia, we depend on uh, lots of lot on foreign students, whereas in in India, you don't have that necessity. You have a big local population as well. But I think an international student would like to go to uh, um, uh, India and know more about India. And that's the thing that we have to facilitate in the future.